2022 is a big year in our industry, and for BRP, it may be the biggest, with bigger horsepower, bigger performance accessories, and also a bigger North American market with the introduction of Lynx. The Lynx brand has long been talked about coming to North America, but up until now, that was just talk. However, for the 2022 season, you can put a deposit down at your BRP dealer to receive one of three Lynx sleds being imported across the sea. Whether this is just a pilot program and we'll see ramped up availability of Lynx sleds in the future, we really don't know. But what we do know is that if you want a Lynx for 2022, you better get to your dealer. Like right now. The excitement for this product is monumental. The buzz in the industry is tangible. And the product, well, from our testing of the Rave RE3500 we have had here on the snow for the past month, yeah, we love every little bit of it. Especially the aggressive trail rider who isn't held back by even the roughest of trails. Lynx will offer the Rave RE in 137-inch lengths, as well as the Boondocker DS model in two different track lengths. But again, these are only available as pre-order with a deposit. You're not going to get a Lynx in season next year. Along with increasing the number of manufacturers playing in the North American market, BRP also increased the horsepower coming out of the 900 turbo motor. While the all-new 900 Ace Turbo R will be available as an option in many 2022 Skidoo sleds, the big news is the Mach-Z which for 2022 makes a glorious return to the market in a fashion that suits its pumped up chest beating name. First things first, the engine. While we have loved the 900 Ace in all of its different variations, we haven't been so in love with the electronic throttle system. So this year, Skidoo completely changed ITC. What does that mean for the rider? Responsiveness that you can't get from a strictly electronic system. While the ITC throttle body is still electronic, it delivers a more linear and predictable throttle response that feels like a cable-driven throttle body, and the system still retains the shift on the fly drive features of Sport, Standard, and Eco. Another feature of equal excitement is the inclusion of a launch mode, where the engine is able to increase RPM to build up boost in the turbo system, and then essentially dump the clutch and deliver what Skidoo claims is like nothing else. So this is the technology that's behind the 900 Turbo R model, but what about the horsepower? For 2022, power goes up as well. The 150 horsepower version is no longer available. The options are 130 horsepower Turbo and the 180 horsepower Turbo R. Much like the designations on the Can-Am off-road side who use the same 900 Ace engine. The Turbo R features larger injectors, an optimized intake and exhaust track, as well as a heavier wastegate that allows this Turbo R to build up to an impressive 17.4 PSI. The motor mounts were redesigned to handle the increase in power, as was internal components of the P-Drive clutch. Now on the flip side, the 130 horsepower Turbo 900 builds 8.7 PSI and is 4 pounds lighter from the removal of the intercooler. It will use the standard ITC drive-by-wire system, however with larger injectors and a reworked intake and exhaust, the throttle is much more responsive. And as if that wasn't enough of a one-two punch, get ready for the knockout blow with a new technology called Smart Shocks, something you may recognize from the Can-Am brand. This new suspension system utilizes KYB electronic millisecond tuning of the shocks. Not only does the system allow you to adjust the suspension to one of three predefined settings of Comfort, Sport, and Sport Plus, but it uses five chassis sensors and a main brain to compute the chassis dynamics and offer instantaneous adjustment to automatically account for pitch, roll, increased compression on landing, as well as reduced topping out when the skis leave the snow. This system isn't just a three-trick pony though. While you can adjust those three baseline settings and they'll give you a good standard setup, there's a whole lot more. The SmartShox system knows where the shocks are in their compression and rebound stroke. It knows where the snowmobile is going and where the force is coming into the chassis. With this information and your baseline three position rocker switch setting picked, the controller will then tune on the fly, multiple times per second if required, both the compression and rebound of each of the shocks. It's the smartest suspension on snow and takes the guesswork out of tuning your shocks. No more stopping trail side and counting suspension clicks, no more wishing you could soften up the ride or likewise make it a bit stiffer when the trail gets whooped out. The change is a toggle switch away with continuous on the fly tuning. The 2022 season is a huge one for BRP, offering you a whole host of options to meet your specific needs. Add to that the new introduction of Lynx to North America and it proves that BRP is listening to the snowmobile market.